Yeah, there's several that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. I think virtual care and virtual care platforms is key uh, for our future. Um, you know, virtual care, if you in nursing, can assist with data collection. Uh, we can help admit patients. Uh, discharge patients, do patient education, uh, family education. So there's many things that a virtual nurse can assist a bedside nurse to complete and do and actually feel like they have more time to spend with the patient. Um, so that's a key piece. Um, additionally, I think virtual provider support. And what I mean by that is um, bringing specialists to the bedside and that might be a specialist in nursing uh, to offer support to maybe a newer nurse, or it could be a certain specialist physician uh, to see a patient and it allows where those resources might be scarce. It can help bring that provider or that uh, specialist to the bedside much quicker. So that whole virtual platform is gonna be uh, a huge uh, benefit to nursing, I think, and, and bedside care in general. Um, one of the other pieces that's pretty significant are wearable technologies to monitor uh, vital signs and monitor the patient's status. So um, that is just going to open up. It, it, one, it allows more continuous monitoring of vital signs. It frees the staff. Uh, so they don't actually have to do the task of taking vital signs that can spend time with their patients doing other things. And then we have just that continuous and reliable monitoring that can then feed into systems that takes me to um, AI and the, the AI in the future of taking that information and that data and helping to support the clinician to make decisions and can even add alerts and pick up things quicker uh, to aid the team at the bedside. So lots of technologies. Um, I think, you know, there's also the whole notion of smart rooms and creating smart room technology that allows you to monitor uh, patient movement within the patient room. So you can look for things like um, patients who are at risk to fall that might be getting out of bed or is a patient turning as often as they should and then uh, driving alerts to the team to help with an intervention if needed. And one really exciting piece is the smart room that can hear and listen. So uh, the opportunity might be there for transcription. So I do documentation just by talking through the room and having that assist with my documentation. Or if I'm in a uh, potential safety situation, then I could say keywords or call for assistance and be able to get help if I needed it in the room.